Hello guys and welcome to the to a new video of this particular AWS Lambda project. So this is the first particular video in this video series of this project. Before we begin this project, let me just give you a brief overview about what we are going to be doing. So we have an API gateway over here, as you can see, which will have a URL which we are going to be creating. So before let me just uh, before diving into it, let me just give you crux of what this entire project is going to be. At the center of this project is going to lie in this uh, Python function. This Python function will be containing all the data or all the code which is going to be run. And this Python function is going to be of the runtime Python 3.7 or 3.6 accordingly. And uh, this Python function is going to be a part of AWS Lambda. Now AWS Lambda function is supposed to be triggered at any given point whenever you want and it is as per demand. Hence it is called serverless. And uh, this particular AWS Lambda but needs an involvement whenever it should be triggered. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be configuring AWS API Gateway as a backend or as a trigger which will trigger AWS Lambda. So AWS API Gateway when we create an API with the method get put post or any other method we can deploy an API for that. So as and when you hit that particular API in your uh, web browser it triggers this particular AWS Lambda function and AWS Lambda function in turn triggers this Python code and uh, as whatever the function call written is done or uh, whatever the function returns is sent back to this particular API gate. So in our particular project what we are going to be doing is the code is placed over here AWS Lambda gets triggered with this particular curl URL and whatever the output is supposed to be written is directly showed in the browser when we hit the API URL in our web browser. So this is the crux of what the project is going to be. We are going to be first starting with coding the Python function and then we are going to be creating an AWS Lambda function and in the end we are going to be creating an API for uh, AWS API Gateway to trigger this Lambda function. Okay.